This is Transformers Prime, Robots in Disguise, Voyager Class, Ultra Magnus. Uh, the figure is part of the fourth wave, I think, uh, Voyager Class figures for the Robots in Disguise, Transformers Prime toy line. And here he is. Uh, it's a great over overview. It's a great, um, it's a great sculpt. Uh, a great reimagination of Ultra Magnus. Uh, I say reimagine because I've not seen him on the show. Obviously, this is a throwback to how Ultra Magnus appeared on the Cartoon Network Transformers animated show, and uh, obviously because of the hammer and the way he transforms, I think into a into a uh, different kind of truck. Um, well, for whatever reason, it, this is a nice uh, Transformers Prime adaptation of the Autobot Commander, or Battlefield Commander. The bio even says that he is Optimus's uh, one of Optimus's generals. Um, he's like a could be a wrecker, uh, but one of the hard-hitting Autobots. His battle hammer has crushed chassis from one side of the galaxy to the other. No battlefield on which his armored feet have stepped has ever been yielded to the Decepticon. So he's also feared, much like Optimus. And that's great. And I like the fact that he's not Optimus's commander, just like in the Cartoon Network show. Having said that, um, the figure, great sculpt, great transformation, articulation's great, pain apps is, is okay. But just like his... Uh, Minimi counterpart, his, uh, sorry, his uh, Cyberverse counterpart. It's a great sculpt. It's a great display piece, but it, it does suffer a little bit on playability. And we'll get to that in a while. So here he is with this uh, with a Cyberverse version. See, same, almost same hammer. No, different. <laughs> Very thick handle. This one transformed, doubles as a gun. Here is the packaging, very nice. Look at that. Okay. And uh, maybe I can bring the camera closer so we can actually see him transformed. Okay, uh, again, uh, as I said, he's a fantastic uh, uh, Toys, uh, a, a fantastic figure uh, based on sculpt alone and design. However, um, playability he can be annoying at times. And, and the main reason for that is two things, I think. Uh, the very loose hip joints, um, which, you know, is offset, I mean, is, is, is sort of mitigated by the fact that he's got some ratcheting joints uh, on the elbow and on the knee. Uh, some posable uh, toes so you can get him in dynamic poses, stabilize his pose, and you can push it all the way back to make the foot go back like that. Uh, so, yeah, but this is it, this is a weak point. And it's not that loose. It's just that because of the weight, upper body weight and the thickness of the legs, the it, it's very hard to to keep him standing in a, in a dyna very dynamic pose. The other thing that's really, really pissing me off with this design of Ultra Magnus is really the flimsy shoulders and uh, collarbone and, and upper chest, whatever. Uh, this whole design, I have no idea why they opted for that. I think that was the CGI design for Ultra Magnus or whatever. Um, if he did appear on the show, or maybe he will appear in season four, I don't know. But I have no idea if this, they're bringing him to the show but I'm not a big fan of this one. It's just annoying, really, the whole flimsiness of this shoulder joint. I wish they would have made it sturdier and so that playability would have been better. But anyway, having said that, he still has some fantastic articulation. He's got a ball-jointed neck, waist swivel. Again, the ball-jointed shoulders with this movement because of transformation. A swivel, uh, bicep, hinge. Uh, it, this is a ratcheting hinge elbow. Uh, ball jointed uh, wrist, ball jointed hip, uh, thigh swivel, ratcheting hinge knee, and some toe articulation. Uh, pain apps are phenomenal on this one. Hardly any pain issues on him. Uh, there are a couple here and there, but uh, if you're looking for this one on the shelf, 
uh, make sure that the Autobot symbol is painted squarely and there are no smudges on the face. Other than that, or, or the red paint apps are on squarely. Other than that, the, the figures paint apps are just great. He comes with two accessories. We'll start with this teeny tiny one. This is just like a rocket gun. I have no idea why they even gave Ultra Magnus this. I mean, this thing could have been designed better. Um, it looks like one of Starscream's missiles or a seeker missile. I wish they, they I mean, I would have appreciated a, a water cannon, a hose, or a, a whole bazooka. I mean, a missile. Does Ultra Magnus really need one? It can plug in here or any of the uh, mech tech ports, I suppose. Uh, you can store it right here like that. That's fine. He also comes with his battle hammer. Uh, which doubles as a gun, um, which he can hold on either hand. It's not bad. I mean, if you like a gun with a big ass hammer on top, I mean, it's pretty cool. He can hold it like a machine gun. So, yeah, okay. Uh, by the way, if you do read the instructions on these figures, uh, the instructions actually tell you that in order to lock. The, what's not, oh, by the way, I, I like the fact that you can lock the gimmick, the mech tech, because it's just ridiculous to have Ultra Magnus um, have a hammer that's, that they'll only stay in hammer mode if you hold on to it and just snap back. I mean, that's just ridiculous, that mech tech gimmick. I'm so happy that they found a way to lock this. Now, I kid you not, if you read the instructions, they actually tell you to tab on to here. I have no idea why they did that. They actually asked you to do, go ahead and tab it there. That's what the instructions said. I double checked it. I had a hard time doing it. I mean, stupid me, right? Reading the instructions. Anyway, um, there. It tells you to tab it there. And I could not do it for the longest time. And then I saw this and I said, what the? Come on, Hasbro. I mean, if, if there are people who actually read your instructions, don't mislead them, please. And I kid you not. The whole diagram had, it didn't have this one too long. They had it like that. Really, or either that or this, I had, a, I had a misprint on my instruction booklet. So, anyway, for whatever reason, that's how you do it. All right, to transform him, um, very interesting and not that difficult. I, I have to give it up to the designers of Hasbro. It's a very interesting transformation. Uh, go ahead and fold the toes down. Go ahead and unlock this, just like what you do in Transformers Animated Voyager Class Optimus Prime, if you do remember that toy. And that and really the design of Ultra Magnus is really that the wheels go on either side of his calves such as that this guy had to have some fake wheels right there so anyway go ahead and get put him in a fetal position and then uh, just tab the oh you wanna go ahead and do this I get to this one is I'm not a big fan of this one as well I'll get to that in a while um, go ahead and tab the legs together come on now Okay, there you go. Then what you do is, oh, go ahead and rotate this one back like that. Unfold this, like that. Fold the hands inward. Go ahead and un unfold that. Fold the arms inward. This one is a little bit tricky. The instructions tell you to just move it up like that. And the way you do that is you just, you want to collapse it on top of his head. Um, I don't know if you should, I think you should put the head inside the vehicle. Uh, I'm, I was very afraid that I would break the antenna. So anyway, we'll, we'll just do it this way just to be on the conservative side. So go ahead and tab it like that. Um, the next thing you want to do is, well, you should have put this one in first like that. Sorry, then uh, fold this one down, and then you're supposed to tab it. The instructions tell you to tab it first, put this thing in, and put fold that one down. That's what the instruction says. I think the best way is to just put the arms in first so that all those spikes are inside the windows, like that, and fold this one immediately before you tab everything so that you can actually hook um, hook the those pegs right there, those teeny tiny pegs that I think are going to break uh, in time. Uh, and then what's left is just tab the forearms onto the bottom of these plates right here. Like that. 
I mean, I think if, if you transform him one too many times, one of those pegs, those teeny tiny flat pegs are just going to break, which is a shame because it's a Voyager class. It should be tougher than maybe what the deluxe class would have. But anyway, um, so there, there you go. There is Ultra Magnus in his uh, truck mode. And I think I like this truck mode better than the Cyber Cyberverse version. It has a lot more meat to it. Um, but still, it still looks lacking. It should have a trailer. Um, I'm sure a third party is going to make a trailer. Uh, the weapons can fit on either of the, any of the mech tech ports here and there and up top here. You can, of course, combine it um, with this weapon. Uh, there's a mech tech port right there, which plugs in there. And the instructions tell you to keep these erect and plug it like that. Just like that. I mean, seriously, Hasbro. Yeah. I mean, they didn't even... <laughs> look at that. These have no purpose in the weapon except uh, as, as a docking port for these. So the best way to do it, I think, is just angle these together. They don't tab in snug, but... I mean, at least it's more symmetric that way. Or you can just put this one down like that so it's a lot more stable. And it's kind of corny. I'm not particularly sure what kind of truck he is. He's blue, so, you know, very hard to make him into a military truck. Um, this should have been a ladder of some sort. It kind of looks like a fire truck or a rescue truck or an airport rescue support truck, whatever. Um, but you know, they put a missile and a gun on him, so whatever. So there. Um, it's really annoying, I mean, this part. Again, uh, display piece is great, but playability, not the best thing in the world. So, come on. You got to stay, stay, stay. Okay. Oh, forget it. Uh, well, yeah. I suppose you could do this. Yeah, I think that would be better. Go ahead and do that if it makes sense to anybody. Uh, these can tab here. I don't know, it's just ridiculous. So, yeah, whatever. Ultra Magnus. So there you go, folks. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this view, uh, this review, and found it very informative. Um, as a, as a casual collector, I mean, if you're not really into Ultra Magnus, pass. Uh, as a gift to kids, if they like trucks, fine, go ahead. But this toy in particular, I think, is strictly for the Ultra Magnus fan. If you're very strict on your Transformers, if you want only show appearance or mov movie, ac movie appearance, figures and this is a pass for you casual collectors i think if you want to get this you can wait for it on clearance clearance and you'll, you'll probably you know won't feel too bad about it uh still having said that playability is the only downside for this one i will still give this one a eight out of ten i mean it's still a good figure i mean to add to your transformers prime toys i mean ultra magnus is always always a very very interesting figure um as a display piece if you just want to transform him a few times and pose and you know and just put him on the shelf he's he's fine but as a play toy, like a play, uh, uh, something you give to a, a younger kid, uh, I, I don't think this is worth that. I mean, I don't think this is right for that because playability of this thing sucks. So there you go, folks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the thumbs up icon at the bottom. Share it with your friends. Add it to your favorites. Uh, I post videos on two of my channels on YouTube, Chefatron as well as FX France. I do contribute videos to Tech Sushi as well on YouTube. Uh, toy purchases and upcoming reviews are on Twitter.com slash FX France. Toy hauls are on Keek.com slash FX France. Toy sightings are on Instagram at FX France. There you go, folks. This has been the Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Voyager Class Ultra Magnus. Thanks for watching.